For a long time when we looked at images of Mars taken from space, we got used to the idea that nothing ever happens there. A quiet, still world, wrapped in cosmic silence. And in some ways, that's not entirely wrong. After all, Mars has lost almost all of its atmosphere, about 99% of it, and today, it's nearly a planet immersed in the vacuum of space, cold and seemingly lifeless. But that view began to change dramatically when NASA's robotic explorers started roving its surface. Machines like Curiosity and Perseverance recorded something surprising. The Martian sky is far from static. There's movement, there are changes, there's atmospheric life, in a different sense of the word. Now, imagine yourself floating 30 kilometers above Earth. At that altitude, the atmospheric pressure is just a fraction of what we feel at sea level. On Mars, that sensation would be normal even on the surface. The air is so thin there that breathing would be nearly impossible. Even so, suspended dust particles paint the sky a constant reddish hue, giving the planet its iconic appearance. But it wasn't always like that. In the distant past, Mars had abundant water. Rivers once flowed across its surface, and its atmosphere was much thicker, maybe even capable of supporting microscopic life. But something drastically altered that scenario. The main suspect? The planet's own size. With less than half the diameter of Earth, Mars also has a smaller core, which cooled much faster than ours. That caused its magnetic field, which acts as a shield against solar radiation, to vanish too early. Without that protection, solar wind began stripping the atmosphere away bit by bit, as if blowing the gaseous layers into space. The water that once covered parts of the planet evaporated, and over time, Mars became what we see today, a dry, cold, rocky ball cloaked in mystery. Still, when we observe the Martian sky from its surface, we find something that feels both familiar and alien. During the day, the sky shifts between caramel and red, thanks to the fine dust suspended in the air. But at sunset, something curious happens. A bluish hue appears near the horizon, caused by sunlight scattering in a completely different way than it does here on Earth, where sunsets tend to be red. It's as if the skies of Mars tell their own version of the physics of light, and it doesn't stop there. The planet is also visited by clouds, not rain clouds like ours, but clouds made of water ice and even carbon dioxide. These appear at high altitudes, forming long, mysterious patterns, especially during the early morning hours, resembling vapor trails in the sky. A subtle, yet mesmerizing show. On calm nights without dust storms, Mars reveals another visual gift. A sky filled with stars, astonishingly sharp and vivid. The absence of a dense atmosphere allows starlight to reach the surface with barely any interference, creating a true natural planetarium for the naked eye. It's a striking contrast with Earth, where light and air pollution often block all but the brightest stars. On Mars, the sky is a clear, dark stage where the universe performs in full clarity. Despite all its inhospitable features, Mars remains one of the most fascinating celestial bodies in our solar system. The Martian sky, with its unique tones and strange atmospheric phenomena, carries the echoes of a planet that was once very different. It's as if, amid the silence and dust, traces still remain of a time when Mars might have been welcoming, even habitable. That's where the images captured by the Curiosity and Perseverance rovers come in. They've delivered stunning views of the atmosphere in motion. Even though the Martian atmosphere is extremely thin, just 1% the density of Earth's, Mars still manages to surprise us with visible and even complex phenomena. And the most curious part? Many of these atmospheric movements weren't expected before the first probes landed. That's right, we underestimated the Martian sky. These movements fall into two main categories, those that occur within the atmosphere and those that happen beyond it. Let's start with the atmospheric phenomena. During the Martian summer, the heat triggers a fascinating process at the polar caps. Carbon dioxide, which accumulates there as ice, sublimates, meaning it goes directly from solid to gas. This not only changes the local atmospheric pressure, but also generates clouds at extremely high altitudes between 60 and 90 kilometers above the surface. These clouds are completely different from the ones we know. Instead of water, they're made of dry ice, crystals of carbon dioxide. And while they don't bring rain, their drift across the sky is a spectacle in itself. In 2021, for example, the Curiosity rover used its navigation camera to capture just eight consecutive frames of one such cloud. When combined, those images revealed an impressive time-lapse of the cloud's motion, slowly gliding across the sky at around 80 kilometers above the surface. These observations are incredibly valuable. They allow scientists to measure wind speeds on Mars and better understand how the planet's atmospheric dynamics work 
Despite the low density, it's almost like uncovering the silent lungs of a world that breathes with extreme subtlety. But the events aren't limited to frozen clouds. Dust storms are common on Mars, and we're not talking about small-scale storms. Some of them cover entire regions, and in extreme cases they engulf the entire planet in a blanket of particles that darken the sky for weeks. Even though Martian winds aren't particularly strong, ranging from 4 to 15 kilometers per hour, they have a cumulative effect. The planet's fine surface dust, combined with these consistent winds, allows for the formation of whirlwinds, moving dunes, and occasionally, those massive global storms. Although weaker than Earth's winds, the Martian airflow can easily lift tiny particles, since everything there is lighter and drier. The constant action of these winds can even clean the solar panels of probes, an unexpected helping hand from Mars itself. But at other times, the dust buildup is so intense that it temporarily shuts down robotic operations, as has happened with solar-powered missions in the past. Another curious phenomenon occurs right after sunset, the so-called twilight clouds. As the sun dips below the horizon, ice crystals suspended in the upper atmosphere continue to reflect its light for a few more minutes, creating a soft, ghostly glow in the sky. It's a silent, almost mystical show that proves even a thin atmosphere can transform light into beauty. Besides being enchanting, these clouds offer important clues about the thermal structure of Mars's upper atmospheric layers, acting like a kind of atmospheric X-ray. But perhaps one of the most impressive sights ever recorded on the Martian surface is the movement of its tiny moons. Unlike our moon, which takes about 27 days to travel across our sky, Phobos, the larger of Mars's two moons, is fast, very fast. It crosses the sky in a matter of hours. Curiosity has already captured this spectacle in short videos, showing Phobos streaking across the sky like a small, rapid shadow. It's a completely different visual experience from what we're used to on Earth. These records show that even on a planet many still consider dead, there's so much to see and learn. The Martian sky, with its caramel and blue hues, its clouds of ice and dust, its relentless storms, and its dashing moon, reminds us that beauty can exist even in the most hostile places. It tells a quiet story of a world that was once more active, more humid, perhaps even inhabited, and that now remains as a cosmic museum, where time and wind are the only guides. And what's most amazing is realizing that all these images, all these moments were captured by machines we built. Robots that traveled millions of kilometers to land on a completely different planet and show us that even where everything seems still, nature continues its show. Every cloud captured, every dust devil, every twilight shimmer is a reminder that Mars still breathes, even if faintly. So yes, Mars is a fantastic world, and its skies, though silent, speak volumes about its past, its present, and maybe even its future. If you enjoyed exploring this topic with us, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell to keep following our journeys through the cosmos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.